Hi there, I'm Andy. This is Andy's first knife, believe it or not. Shockingly good for a first knife. Probably for a final knife, fantastic. Andy, tell us some things about the design here. What steel is it? What design choices did you make? Sure, so this is 01 tool steel that was provided for the class. That's kind of just a plain carbon steel, not stainless. So I did have to battle, battle against this thing trying to flash rust if I left it damp. One of the more difficult things was piercing these holes. I did that in the soft state before heat treating. Drilled a hole, threaded a jeweler saw blade through there, and then sawed oh, those wow. holes so out those from the inside. Broach. What is this G10 here on the That hand? is a G10, sort of a quilted look. File work here for your jimping. Did, was this bevel done with the router table in the shop? It was done on a router table in a different shop, but yeah, that was done with a, a pattern cutting bearing bit, like a woodworking style bit. And then what can you tell me about this theme running through your knives of sort of this shape? Is there something to that? Yeah, I guess I would just, I would describe that as saying it just, it just kind of spoke to me, the mixture of the kind of hard geometric, really tight intentional looking lines and then where your hand actually meets up with it. I figure that ought to be curved just for ergonomics. Very nice. Yeah, it feels, feels pretty good in my hand. I like this kind of aggressive, uh, you'll see that a few times in some of my knives as well, that little uh, choil there. I like that. They've kind of tarnished a little bit, but there are these little purfling lines of brass. So there's a brass sheet that's between the, mm -hmm. G10 and the steel? Yes, Very sir. Nice. That probably doesn't help for your corrosion issues. No, no, that, that, <laughs> looked, that looked a lot better when it was all bright and fresh, but that brass, the brass doesn't really hold up great. 